Alright, okay, so in this video, I show you how you can make a hollow slanted roof in Bloxburg. Now, if you do enjoy this video, then please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. It would be much appreciated, and let's get right into this. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make some amazing slanted roof things whilst still being able to place things inside of it in Bloxburg. Oh, I haven't actually loaded in yet. Okay. Welcome to Blockburg. Blockburg? <laughs> Bloxburg. Alright, there we go. So as you can see, that's where I was, uh, that's what I was testing it. And as you can see, this is what you'll be able to create by the end of this video. Uh, you can place things in it. Obviously, it will be a lot bigger. You can change the size of it, uh, of the room that you want here. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do, obviously, is you, you're gonna want to have a room, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna make it slightly bigger than that one that I made over there. Uh, just, just a little bit. And boom! Room! Amazing! How... Oh, wonderful. I'm gonna go into roofs, uh, or you're gonna want to go into roofs, and you're gonna want, uh, this slanted roof. Now, you will have to, uh, suffer the, uh, that's not how you do it. You will have to suffer the, uh, the harshness of having, uh, a little bit, just like a single block on the side where you can't, that's too small. You can't place things. So it'll basically have a really tiny wall on the side like I showed over there a minute ago. Can I get this right please? As well as that you're gonna want to put that onto the smallest it'll go and bring it out one. I've just put my grid size on uh, the smallest it'll go. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit like that. That should be good. We're gonna copy that. Uh, we're gonna put manual obviously. Again we're gonna drag that to the smallest. We're gonna open it just one more. There you go. And we're going to want it roughly the same size. Is that going to be? Okay, as well as that, I'm just going to place a quick uh, floor here as well. Uh, you, you probably want a floor upstairs unless you're building it. It's like a massive weird roof inside thing. Does that make sense? And how I test that it, it's the same height is I get one of these uh, normal cubes here uh, from the new, the new shape thing. And then I drag it up uh, to the top of that until it's got like a tiny bit sticking out and then if you drag it over here you will see that that one is actually too short so I need to go and uh, go and redo that until it just about uh, sticks out boop, boop, boop. like that there you go and then as you can see these are now the same height as they only just stick out the top like all right I'm just gonna delete that now uh, I don't need that really anymore although we will need the shapes again um, incredibly soon in fact now kind of soon yeah okay so as you can see uh, you, you grab the cube thing and once you put it on the side it actually sticks uh, to the side and it makes a little angle thing and then you just want to make it like roughly the same height uh, not height sorry the same width as that and that should be... yep, that's perfect. You want to get this, you want to drag it out as far as it will go and also as tall as it will go. Uh, you can obviously make that smaller in just a minute. This is just uh, this is just to get it to work properly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. Uh, check that it's still the same size. Yep, good. And then what what what, mm -hmm. what we're going to do after that is we're going to we're going to see that uh, this is perfectly aligned. Therefore, it's you know on the same edges, and we can actually shrink them just until they merge inside of each other so it looks like uh, that they're just merging. Like that, I think that's probably the closest I'm going to be able to get it. That is, you know, that's fairly, fairly close, I would say. Yeah, you won't really be able to notice that if you're there. So, yeah, that, that's good. And then, obviously, because you can't make these any bigger, because I just made it as big as it would go, uh, you just want to copy this again by pressing C on your keyboard, or you can go and, uh, if I can... Cancel that. I don't even know what the copy button is. How do I even copy things? Oh, it's this tool down here. Right, yeah, okay, so you want to press that button uh, down there by the paint and uh, destroy tool. Obviously, this will be a lot quicker if you have uh, smaller smaller rooms and things, but um, well, I, I kind of don't because I decided to make a really big one for no reason. And then as you can see, because uh, it's all the same size and it's all on the same grid size and everything like that, it kind of just lines up perfectly. Uh, obviously with this last one, I'm going to have to change the size slightly, but a little tip is if you put it right in the middle, uh, you should be able to resize it because it resizes both, and then you can get it roughly the right size to just move it over. Like that, which actually worked amazingly. And then again, you just copy, paste, or uh, click this little button down here and paste it. Now before we do get any further, uh, this video is pretty much entirely based off of a video that is it uh, Ramp P that I uploaded this. Yeah, the video will be on screen uh, now also in description as well as his channel in the description uh so yeah 
All right, okay, so I'm gonna now go delete that floor and I'm gonna uh, just place the stairs so I can get like a rough idea on how I'm gonna you know, get up there or something. There you go, as you can see, if I go and uh, place a floor now. By the way, if you are liking this video so far, then you know, do go down below, like, subscribe, and also if you wanna see a video on how to create uh, these different types of monitor uh, style things, then also tell me in the description in the description in the comments and i'll be sure to do that uh, it's on my video plan list so it'll probably be released anyway but yeah okay so uh it's kind of unhelpful that it's turned nighttime now because apparently Bloxburg's always nighttime um it's not but you know uh you can see that there is this area up here we are going to fill in the walls in just a minute i'm just uh, kind of showing uh that there will be a slight thing here but it doesn't really affect much at all to be honest uh i'm gonna put the door in the center just because it's slightly annoying me there we go okay so what you're gonna want to do next is you're gonna want to grab a cube and make it so that it's uh just it's gonna be just slightly thicker than this wall down here so that you can actually place it Cause if it's the same thickness uh, you can't place it on top of the wall we go resize it again we're gonna make it just so that it's the same height as this line here and then we're gonna grab another one of these we're just gonna have to go uh resize it so that it's not sticking out of that uh roof bit there you go okay so then what you're gonna want to do is you see this uh horizontal wedge thing uh i am recording aren't i yeah okay good what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make it the same thickness as the wall that we just uh made uh not the normal walls hopefully that's that's right you're gonna make it so that it's like roughly halfway then you're gonna just make it go up like that as you can see and then we're gonna get it again we're gonna rotate it another 180 degrees is that right i don't know and then there you go as you can see it's now like perfectly flush with the wall same with the inside and it doesn't stick out of these roofs uh, i'm just going to make sure of that by painting these pinks so it'll be quite obvious yeah perfect and we're going to go and copy this here and then we're going to drag it over to this side like that and then we're going to go copy this side and then just put it together like a like a little puzzle i guess okay so next up what i want to do is i want to add like a window thing like obviously bramp he did uh in, th in this video or in his video basically how you do this is you delete uh one of these panels um i'm gonna i want it to be more centered so i'm gonna kind of make this a bit longer and then copy and paste it to the other side just like this all right and then obviously you're gonna need like glass for a window so either you can choose the uh, semi-transparent one which looks like that or you can choose uh this one which looks uh like like that and then i'm gonna go around this window just like this there you go as you can see if we go up this uh, amazing quality uh ladder i don't know why it's quality but you know we have a nice little nice little window here you can see the sun and then basically once you've done this you can just decorate it as much as you want you can put windows here if you resize things anyway if you did enjoy this video you know smash the like button subscribe all those amazing things um go description check out things and i will see you in the next video maybe goodbye